What is up my fellow hunters and huntresses? Today I am joined by Kid Fox. He's one of my What is up it's Kid Fox and uh, it's good to be here. Yeah. And he's like one of my good friends that I've met and we've known each other for a while, so and I've helped him on, you know, coming up with a couple YouTube video ideas and I thought, well, so let's just do a video for my channel. So here we are. We are watching a Feeding the Trolls, and I let my good friend here pick, and he's already gotten a little taste of what is to expect, but not from this troll in particular, but from another one. Die, fucking camera! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, moving on. So today we are watching um, Feeding the Trolls, you know, Caden Calger. Oh, dear lord. Um... Fox, you ready for this one? Um, I made you sit through DSP masturbating, so you know you can make you can put me through whatever you want. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Well, okay. Let's start this now. Time to feed the trolls. Oh, poor me. Poor. She hurt me. She hurt my feelings. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and yeah. I need a haircut now. As some of you may be aware, I have a couple of guidelines on the trolls that I feed on the show. One of them is the age guideline. Okay. That is to say that if you're between the ages of 0 and 16 or 17, I <laughs> tend not to go after you. One, it makes me look like a boy, and two, it hey, probably puts game. you on the wrong side of the argument when the person you're arguing with hasn't even gotten out of middle school yet. Now, yeah. I realize I've broken this rule several times, but most oh, of those God. are a result Mario of me plumber. simply just not doing enough research on the he person broke Spyro. before I fed them. However, this next guy breaks my age rule and I don't even care. So, without any further bullshit, Caden Cowder. Homosexuality is a belief. Four seconds in and you've already proven yourself to be supremely stupid. You cannot believe in homosexuality. It's not a belief. If okay, can we pause exists, this for a minute? There is no need for belief. Okay. What do you think so far? Um. He's <laughs> clearly of uh, some southern descent. Homosexuality oh, yeah. is a belief. I, I, I don't know what that voice is. Is it sounds like he's drowning as he talks? Yeah. Um, you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, I I think I'm getting cancer watching this. Yeah, uh, hey, it will do that to you. Very fast acting. No, it, I'm I'm rapidly aging. This is MGS4. I'm rapidly aging from watching this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He. Uh. uh You're well, just speechless. You just. <laughs> I I agree with this guy. Homosexuality is not a belief, or it is not a belief. Yeah. It is a it's a choice. You know, you can you know feel right. that way from birth. Uh, you can be influenced by your surroundings, oh. by the people who are around you. Uh, well, and it's uh, that's kind of where I have to disagree with you because, like, you know, like. I like how like you're born that way. It's not really a choice. It's more of you're born that way. Or maybe I feel some events like experience because I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There was a time when I did prefer men over women, and right. it couldn't because I wasn't able to find a girlfriend. I had a uh, who I was really, really, really good friends with. Um, it, it could be that. Yeah. But, I mean, it really depends on the cases that are one or the other. But it's not something where. How do I explain that? Like, it's not. It's really nothing to believe in. It's your preference. Right. Well, no. it's not a preference. But you yourself can say, yes, that's true. It's not like that. It's, it's your preference. Right, and but like when you said that, like no, that was just being you know bi curious. That's all it was. It's it, like some people go through. I went through it. Some people go through it. You've had it again. You've had at least one gay moment in your life. Right. So it doesn't matter. So 
It's just mm-hmm. to what extent you you are gay. That's really all it is. You're born gay, hey, but just to what extent. Calls that I've had many of those moments. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to the video. Back to the video, indeed. And uh, if you're ready, I'll uh, I'll count it down so we okay. can get synced. Okay. All right. Two, one, go. It's like saying you believe in calculators. It's not mandatory in that person. Yeah, 30 years of research kind of says otherwise. The person is not born that way, no matter what Lady Gaga says. I seriously doubt you've ever been listening to her. It is a decision. Well, of course they chose to be gay. I mean, sometimes people just want to live in a society where everyone looks down on them, they can't marry the person they love, and their stereotype is limp-wristed pussies. Well, People then. just choose to be like that. Exactly. There, I don't know. It's, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, I, I see younger people that in my life okay. to be I met some real people. Yeah, I know what you mean. In my area, I see a lot yeah. of people going around and not as knowing what grammar and syntax be. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> equal boy and girl both. All of them are starting to turn into homosexuals. Now. We've got about 30, actually 30, uh, 30 teenagers in the, this county that are, uh, that are homosexuals. Well then. So, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Did he just go out and give everyone a survey and just like, are you gay? Are you, or just like ask them about this paper? It's like, are you gay? Bi- bisexual or what? Here you go. Fill this out. Here's a pen. Like, really? Like, really? Do what? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's one way to do it. Yeah. And it is sickening. It sickens me. And you know what? I knew these kids. Some of them I was friends with. Ah, but you're not anymore. For as it is written in the Bible, thou shalt abandon thy friends when they kiss thou most. Yep. I knew that. these yeah. teenagers. When hey, Wolf. Or er, Fox, whatever uh, you want to call it. Like, uh, I knew them speak up because like, you're like really faint. And you know what? They okay. were not homosexuals. That's good. Christmas, man. Why they are becoming gay. Or whatever you celebrate. You know, I'm not, I don't discriminate. Hanukkah. I don't know what about Hanukkah. Is. That's all I got. Oh, you said stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It gets better. Oh no. It gets better when you turn away from homosexuality. That is a perverted belief. And it know. is immoral. And it's not natural. Yeah, I have a feeling that if Obama said that, it would probably be the way all the smart people. Yeah. Just to be honest, it's not natural. Yeah. But rather than the person saying that, he is saying. Homosexuals, you can get married. I know. Right. Yeah, that's because it is. It's all right to be gay. Yeah, probably. We'll make it better for you. We'll make it all right. Holy shit, you mean Obama wants to make it so people aren't ashamed of being what they are? Yeah. Get rid of that SOB. Yeah. Get rid of that SOB. 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 Get rid of that
But when you're trying to teach them the Word of God, and they consider that bullying, yeah, I find that a big problem with not being allowed to convert other people to my religion and telling them yeah. that it's wrong, homosexuality, the belief is condemned by God, and you will go to hell if you continue to follow this belief unless you repent. Because it's not bullying to say, because of this thing you can't control, God hates you. Yeah. It's getting to the point where I can't see that anymore. Well, Tim, you're saying it yeah. right now, so it obviously ain't too bad. This stupid uh, Fairness West Virginia that is here in West Virginia? Fairness West Virginia <laughs> is an advocacy group for us to be people in West Virginia. Yup. Making a change. So, you know, people will have yeah. to other time. There was this yeah. guy that was on that road. He was a hackle. He said, there was a girl yeah. that came up to me and said, we prayed for you in church. We prayed that God would show you the light and you would turn away from your evil and wicked ways. The king made fun of that. And then he came out and was like, oh, boy, she hurt me. She hurt my feelings. Way to be like that, kid. No, 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 no. I don't believe in bullying like, homosexuals. I just believe in making fun of their voice and calling them evil sodomites. That's not huh? bullying. That, no, and that, no. Oh, please, 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 please. I can't tell people they're going to hell in their face and throw Bibles at them. Oh, the society is becoming tolerant. Yeah. And you don't know about James the Preacher. No, God's a, God's a great person for saying that. Yeah, but like, you don't know about James the Preacher. Oh, dear Lord. Watching, I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, God is evil or anything. I'm saying that, by the way, this idiot is portraying God and what he thinks God is. Then, you know, that's not anybody that you should worship at all. Yeah. If that's God. Yeah. I have to agree with you, because, like, the way I was taught was God is this all-loving being who has no ounce of hate in him. Yeah. So, like, that's what I grew up believe. That's why I grew up, like, that's what I was taught, basically. And, like, do I like to believe that there is a God? Yes, I do. I mean, but I am very open-minded to everything. With the vice president. It's all right. Be a homosexual. Barbara Boxer was on TV oh, the other day. Here, it's wait. Right. I used to be against homosexuals. Oh, my gosh. But now I've changed. Now I've this accepted the rainbow. Thank God that became an enemy. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, 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 let's pause this for a second. Vice President. Okay. So, according to Caden here, is okay, just because Barack Obama says it is okay for kids to be gay, then peep then well, well, you know, they're you know, starting to go, oh, okay. You know, I can be gay, so, you know, I'm like, really? That's not how that works. It's either they were gay and in the closet, or they just didn't know they were gay yet. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know, like, I don't know a lot about the Bible. I don't read it. I don't really, I, eh. Like, but. But. With this being said, if God created us and made us a certain way, I've always believed this, technically, if you look at it, God made gays. Exactly. He made us, he made us sentient. He let us think for our own. And if he wanted us to not be gay, he would have created us to not even have those thought processes. Exactly. However, he we do, and so, you know, 
He created. He the thing is, he created everything about us in a unique way, down to the smallest atom. And so he created our thought process and everything. With this being said, he also he made gays. It's not yeah. that hard. Like I mean. I understand that, like, this whole thing, you know, in the Bible, it says, man shall not lay with man. Well, if you look at it, that was the law back then. Man couldn't lay with man, because if they did, they would be killed. Yeah. So, like, I mean, yes, did God make Adam and Eve? Yes. And... I remember I went to church and I heard the preacher say it's, uh, it got me mad because like I have a lot of gay friends and I don't care I, they're awesome they, they lay down their life for me I don't care and like with that being said he was like it's Adam and Eve not Adam and Steve I'm like but there are gay people out there who are a lot nicer than straight people mhm mm I mean, it's just a, like, they're just so down to earth, like, that's just how it is. Like, I mean, I know a lot of gay people, and I'm perfectly fine with them. Again, like, as I said, if they've, I've had one friend who is gay, he offered me a home, he offered me, uh, like, you know, home, like, you know, place to stay if I ever needed it food, clothing, and all this other stuff. And I never asked him. Never asked him. I was, and then he just offered it. I was like, the offer still stands. No matter what, if you need me, just call me and I'll be here for you. And I'm just like, and the thing is, he doesn't have a crush on me. No, we accepted the fact that we see each other as brothers. Like, people yeah. go like, oh, he has a crush on you. No, it's just we see each other as brothers. And family, you stick together. Like, one quote, I, uh, Fox, you know this one. It's, family ain't who you're born with. It's who you die for. And I oh, yeah. believe that with all my heart. And he, that, he showed that right then and there. I'm just like, thank you. So, yeah. Like, that's just how it is, you know? Yeah. And my take on it is, you know, just as you said, family is who you're born with, it's who you die for. And, you know, that's how I feel about you, that's how I feel about like, very few people. Yeah. And, you know, the reason of it is, is that, and I, I don't want to say, you know, just because I've known a lot of gay people or a lot of straight people to say that, you know, all straight people. Oh, no. But, yeah, like, that's not true at all. But, it seems like, let me think of a quote. The thing with the straight people, or not anyone who hears as is gay people, right. it's because of that, they can be really condescending. Mm -hmm. You know, they can be as though, you know, because they are of, but is accepted by God and society and the government and all that kind of stuff. They're never spent me to offer them. But with gays, it's different. But, and, and some people really don't understand that. And yeah. it just it really hurts me because me and Hunter are really in the same boat. Like, we're not homosexuals or anything. Yeah. But we are different in our own ways. Oh, yeah. And being Gothic. And like we did, but this, you know, with what I just said, you know, oh, Barack Obama came out and said it's okay to be gay. That doesn't make any sense because, and this is a little off topic, but not really, because really, it fits with this. You would say, well, no, if Barack Obama came out and said something like, oh, it's okay to be gothic, I don't give a fuck if anybody wasn't okay with it to begin with. I thought they would get one way or the other. If they're fine with it, okay. If they're not, Oh shit. And I feel like that's how a lot of homosexuals feel about the situation too. They are who they are, they're not gonna change it. It's exactly. how they think. It's not a belief. It's not some condemned evil shit. It's how they think and it's how they feel. It's how 
Yeah. And you say, oh, you know, I'll be homosexual anymore. It's important. It's like, it's like a straight person saying, oh, well, I'm not going to like you anymore. Like, it's like that. You can't just do that. You can't just say, oh, well, you know, accept what I love you and I love you know, God into your life. You can't be condemning them to the lifestyle when they're not happy. Right. Do you, do you want them to, like, it's like they're maybe happy and then they have to, like, it's eternal stuff. Or they suck a little bit. They're out of the Like, that's not good. Yeah. Do we want to do Yeah, like, it's just. Ugh. You know. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, we have, like, you know, like, a le- like another minute or so, so let's just go ahead and finish this, uh, nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Biden is making kids gay. Thing is, oh, Obama's got psychics powers. <laughs> Obama, psychics. if you're encouraging, you are making kids gay. You are saying that it is a right to follow this belief. It is completely natural. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not immoral. It is not a belief. It is completely natural. It is completely legal. Facts. Exactly. Like, they are encouraging kids to think, well, you know what? You know what? Uh, they're talking about yeah. being homosexual. And they're saying that there's yeah, nothing wait, wrong well, with being gay. Watch so this. Right. Let's I think this. I might try that out for a little bit. I dare you to do that. I dare you to get up one morning and go, hey, I want to be gay. Go up to a guy and kiss him. My yeah. guess is you're probably going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on. Now be sure to put on your tinfoil hat. Oh, God. Don't look directly at a picture of Obama. There's a demon living inside of it. And that was taken care of. If you oh. have natural suggestions, list them in the comments below or message me. This is Cute Fuzzy Weasel saying I have to get to work now. Okay, we are, Oh, God, we are not watching Mysterious Man. Okay, that's a video for another time. Anyway. Oh, dear Lord. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Um, any final thoughts? Uh. Well, he says it's cute, fuzzy weasel, and I have to get to work now. This is Kid DSF Fox, and I have to bleach my brain now. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can, think about it. I sat through five, four whole seasons of this, and he's still continuing them. So yeah, and like I love the series because like just, I just like seeing all the stupid stuff people come up with. So, it is just, it's amazing. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's just, you know, whoopie do, you know? I have nothing else. Like, I'm, oh, dear lord. But, I've been here, like, the whole time. Oh, hey, Harry. <laughs> We've been sitting here recording you guys a video. Just gay conversation. <laughs> oh, we've been sitting here recording a video for YouTube. So yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So uh, yeah, you know, I will put a link to Cute Fuzzy we- uh, Weasel's channel in the description below, and Kid Fox's channel in the scri- description below. And uh, yeah. Uh, Fox, any last, you know, thing you want to say? Um, yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty torturous, but, yeah. uh, um, I- I'm used to doing Let's Endures anyways, so yeah. I guess I'm kind of into nonsense at this point, so, in a strange way, I look forward to doing more of these, so, yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Okay, well... Hope you like the video, guys, and, uh, you know, happy hunting. Mm-hmm.